with Peugeot's past history in light and nimble GTI hatchbacks like the 205 and their rival product like the Golf GTI, it would be easier to assume that the 308 GTI is much the same. It's not. But then again, Peugeot New Zealand wisely don't really ram that sporty hard edge aspect of the GT moniker down your throat. Think of it more as a top of the line 308 with a slightly more sporty engine. So, ride and handling. It's pretty much what you'd expect from the car as well. It's uh, definitely softer than a Golf GTI. Um, and I think that's kind of refreshing, but you know, you can't expect it to be as nimble through the corners either. Underneath there's uh, performance brakes, well Peugeot call them performance brakes, they're just slightly bigger than the normal 308 sort of uh, equipment. They stop alright, nothing otherworldly. And uh, the tyres, there's 18 inch wheels which do offer a lot of grip. And again, because of the weight and the size of the vehicle, you sort of do appreciate that grip when you need it. engine is simply one of the best small capacity petrol engines you can get. So you've got 147 kilowatts and 275 newton meters of torque. But what's really impressive is where that torque is available from in the rev range. It comes in at around about 1700 rpm, which gives it a, a convincing sort of pull from low revs, even in the taller gears. So the Peugeot 308 GTI. If you've come looking for a Golf GTI or a Focus XR5 Turbo, you're not going to find a competitor here. If you're looking for a good, practical family hatch, this is a great option. The 1.6 litre engine is frugal. I've just been driving it fairly hard and I've only just cracked 8 litres per 100. You know, on the day to day, you'll probably be doing significantly better than that. And I would argue that this is one of the more practical hatchbacks in this class. Don't think of it as a hot hatchback. Think of it more as a, a frugal, efficient family vehicle that can give you a little bit of fun on the, on the back road when you want it.